In this video, I'm going to talk to you where you can get FL Digi. So go to Google, search it out, and this is what you're going to find. Very first website, W1HKJ, as we open that in a new tab. And of course, there's SourceForge. So W1HKJ, the software is done by W1HKJ and Associates. Here you'll find plenty of information provided by W1HKJ pertaining to FLDigi. Again, I'm just giving you points of reference of where you could get some extra information if you wanted to. And on this page, as you can see here, you can then set up uh, this particular piece of software and download either from the site itself or you can go to SourceForge. Myself, because I enjoy using SourceForge, this is the website that I get the software from, and I'll show you why. So when I come to this site, F, uh, sorry, when I come to uh, SourceForge, which is a complete repository of loads of software, not just for amateur radio, but as you can see here, if you wanted to go take a look at other types of amateur radio, you could actually just right click on that. And we go to this uh, page and I will show you all different types of different types of amateur radio, which I will be covering some in some future videos. There's a couple of really neat pieces here for a lot of people. So in this case, we have a page for FLDG. It's broken down by a series of tabs, summary, files, review, support, mailing list, Git, and Wiki. For a quick overview of what the software looks like, of course, with data, you can actually see it here in this carousel type uh, image setup. And to actually get it, we just go to Files, scroll down, and we are looking for FL Digi. Scroll down again. Don't click, don't click on that green button. There's a green button that's looking at you. It says Download Latest Version. Just continue on and you will see the different versions that are available. If you're a Windows user, as you can see here, it's a .exe file. And of course, this is the date of when it was last updated. And we have a file size and it shows you some data of how many times it's been downloaded. If you're more familiar with a .dmg file, we have some options there. We have a really nice PDF file here that you can actually download and take a look at as a point of reference. I do recommend it. I know people, again, you can just see by the stats that 41 people actually say downloaded or there was 41 downloads for that PDF file. I highly suggest getting it as a point of reference. We will be using it in the sense of covering some topics and for reinforcement, that PDF file will serve quite a bit. And so when you download the software, it basically is a piece of software that you you set up. And from there, this is how you get FL Digi. So you're going to need a copy of FL Digi. As I recommended in the first video in this playlist, install it on a computer that you potentially don't have a connection to your ham radio. I've talked to too many people who have made too many mistakes and have damaged things because they weren't paying attention to it being set up appropriately. So I do recommend either getting um, a laptop or a secondary machine to use as your experimental machine. So that is just a suggestion I can make. If you choose to use it on the computer that your radio is connected to, I will basically say, um, just beware of clicking on anything that uh, may not make any sense to you. And as we cycle through the videos, it's gonna to be towards the end that we're basically going to really configure these um, this particular piece of software to the radio. But this is where you get the software. It is uh, open source, so you can uh, download it. There is no fees for, uh, for using the software. And of course, if you want more information, you can go to the w1hkj.com uh, website, and there's loads of information here. But the purpose of the videos that I'm putting together is to walk you through the actual software. So if this is serves better than reading through a PDF document or going through trial and error, in the videos to come, it will then walk you through each particular piece of the software. So this is where to get the software. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below 
or you can drop an email. And also a reminder, installing software on your computer is at your own risk. You can simply just watch the videos and not install the software. And when you are finally ready, install it and uh, make that choice. Thank you very much for watching.